Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about Cloudways platform, cloudways.com, which is a cloud hosting provider. People often ask me, like, what am I looking for when I'm talking about where I host my stuff for and what I'm, you know, why I choose the hosting providers that I do. And the number one thing that comes back time and time again is simplicity. And Cloudways does a really good job of doing that. So it really seems to be one of their core standpoints, which is why. When you use their platform, they actually give you access to five different cloud providers, which is really nice because then you can kind of see, you can sort of, instead of being stuck, like one thing that I've been stuck on platforms of projects I've built before is like, well, I'm already on this platform and I have to migrate it. Then there might be some downtime, this and that. When it's all sort of one platform that branches out, you get quite a bit to go on there. Um, you also see that they have various optimizations that are in here where you can launch some PHP 7 ready servers, advanced caching, all that sort of stuff that you'd expect. And we'll, we'll go over more about what what additional features they have and how easy it is to get up and running. And of course, if you're interested, there will be a link in the description where Cloudways has provided us with a nice um, coupon code so you guys can save some money and get up and running. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. <laughs> So let's go ahead and log in real quick. I already have an account, but you probably will need to create one if you haven't um, already. I, I do believe they'll give you a three-day trial, so you can get up, play around with it over the weekend, and see what's what. Now, as you get going, you'll you'll you know you won't have a server like I have here, but you'll have to be able to add it. You can go in here and uh, you know set up. Hey, I just want to launch a WordPress application or a PHP application or a Laravel or Magento, Drupal, OpenCart, PrestaShop, Joomla. You know you have all these abilities to launch these these um, sort of e-commerce slash um, you know uh, platforms within it. And as you go through, you can kind of see like, oh, hey, what is right for me? Well. Where are the server locations for DigitalOcean, for instance? So I'm in, so let's see, New York would probably be closest for me. And if I did 192 gigs of RAM, uh, see what's going on there. Obviously, you can only do two gigs here. But the idea really was to paint like, okay, well, DigitalOcean is actually cheaper than Linode, for instance. And there might be reasons why. And maybe, the, maybe there's a better uh, server location also. So like... Maybe Dallas is a little bit better, so maybe I'll go with that. And then you have, uh, I call them Vulture, uh, Voltr, <laughs> AWS, and of course Google Cloud Platform, which goes more in. And some of these have additional features, not just about the the gigs and everything associated with them. So what you would do is you would select your platform, your the name of your app, your server, and your example project but this is something that i haven't really seen ever on any of these sort of hosting platforms is multiple hosting options usually what ends up happening is you just get stuck on one and then at that point you can't transition very easily to another platform and it really gives you an idea to customize what it is that you're trying to do and figure out what works best for you and how you're going to do that which is nice because you know in software you know, sometimes, um, you know, WordPress, for instance, let's take WordPress as an example. It's a great thing because it, it is a, it is very flexible, but it's not a it's not a silver bullet like anything else. It, you know, it's not a catch all. So same with your hosting platforms is it's not a catch all. You may need certain features that other platforms don't have or customizable pieces of a package. And giving the option of at least five is a really great place to be. All right, guys, so let's see about adding a project so that we can set up our server and actually launch it. So um, you can go to projects right here, then go to add new project. We'll go ahead and call this just example project, nothing too crazy. It's going to create it. Very nice. Now that we have that created, we should be able to go all the way to our server here. Or, uh, which one is it? So we have our project which has no applications available in it. So we'll go to our applications and let's launch an application. So first we'll call this example app. We'll just call it example server. And then we'll say use example project when we want to launch it. And again, you'll be able to select whatever works best for you. 
We'll just go with DigitalOcean and launch it now. It's adding the server. A little little promo here, which uh, will include a promotional link in the description below, so that you can make sure you, of course, get some money. All right, and now that we've done that, it's going to take about seven minutes to get up and running, which is pretty quick. And we'll ch come back in just a second. All right, and with just about six, seven minutes passing, you can see we have an example server up and running. And you can go in here, get additional things such as monitoring, see, hey, what's going on? Um, you know, obviously we just created this. So in terms of the CPU usage, all that sort of stuff, it's going to take a second to get up. But you can see how much RAM we're using, you know, all that sort of stuff. And if we go to applications here, we can open it up and see additional stuff about where we can do it. So let's just say we wanted to go to the admin panel on this, for instance, because we just launched a WordPress site. We go ahead and, and do it. And in our case, let me go ahead. Not going to expose. I think it's fine to expose this. Just going to log into the admin panel real quick. Oh my goodness, apparently I forgot my password. Oh, it's because they auto-generated it. Okay. All right, and now when we come back, you'll see that, hey, we have a full WordPress uh, set up and it's connected with the server, the whole deal. Now, to some of you, you may not realize how simplistic this has been. My very first job was a internship and getting the WordPress site up and running and on a server was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Because uh, oftentimes there's little, it's, it comes pre-packaged a lot of times, but then you have to get it set up with your hosting. Then you have to get it. So there's always a bunch of headache doing it. And this was actually a very simplistic process process and you can see we launched it almost immediately uh, using the um, Cloudways platform. Hey guys don't forget to hit that notification bell or smash that like button while you're at it and if you're interested I just released my latest course the 100 front end technical question challenge which is there to help you pass those front end technical interviews there's over 100 questions you can get it for just $9.99 the link is in the description below or use coupon code CodingGod.